Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. If you don't know me, hi, how are you? My name is Rosa. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notifications to stay updated on my new videos. I post every Tuesday, Saturday, and sometimes a little bit in between depending on my schedule. So far, I've only been doing Tuesday and Saturday, but that may be changed, you guys, depending on how free I get. I've been trying to get some more sleep, so. I got bags under my eyes all the time now that I work uh, overnight shifts, but I'm trying to work on getting more sleep that way I can film more videos and have more time to spend on YouTube and be able to put out more stuff. So if you can't tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking about what the difference is between a medical laboratory technician versus a medical laboratory scientist. So I'm going to go ahead and go straight in the video. We're just going to teach you how there is differences between the two and what ways can you take to become one or the other. So let's just get started with the video. As a medical laboratory technician, you hold a two year associate's degree before you can take the MLT certification exam. So you basically you take your core gen ed and then you take classes in microbiology, biology, chemistry, statistics, most likely because you do use statistics as a lab technician, as well as um, some other courses that may be required by your program. And from the major real big difference is that you are in this role having to be supervised by a medical laboratory scientist so you can basically do a lot of stuff that a scientist does, but the only difference is that you did not obtain that four year degree. And you may have to be a little bit more supervised, so I already explained that. And they may have to review your work a little bit more, but for the most part, you can do pretty much the same job duties on the job. One of the big major differences is the pay. So the pay can range very greatly depending on state to state. I have a couple ranges from payscale.com. It's kind of hard to find, like the initial pay ranges but for the most part the median is the typical the amount that the technician will make so i actually found it online you make between about 15 dollars on the lower end to about 26 dollars at the higher end with the median being at about 20 dollars an hour so you are making a little bit less than a scientist and i'll go through with all of the details of how to become a scientist and how much they make so we're gonna go over those differences in just a little bit but if that's really a big factor to you, take that into consideration when you're going to college, when you're picking schools, if you're interested in going back to become one, make a real big decision because it will really impact how much money you'll be making in the future. If you really you know, have a lot of stuff going on in your life, maybe you have kids, maybe you have a family, maybe you don't have very much time to go back to school because you're holding like another full-time job at the time, maybe it would make more sense to just see what classes you might need to finish up with your associates in order to become a medical laboratory technician. But if you may have more time, it might just benefit you to go that four year route and finish it off and make a little bit more money as a medical laboratory scientist. So now that I'm done with talking about what involves and what entails and the big differences between a medical laboratory technician, I'm gonna go over the steps and kind of the details on what it is to be a medical laboratory scientist. As a medical laboratory scientist, you are able to do more detailed lab work, which is basically the major difference between a technician versus a scientist. You are more involved in the patient's findings, so looking under the microscope, making um, those detailed findings and putting them onto your results in order to diagnose a patient. So they may not do, if you're working as a technician, you may not really be involved very much in that process. They may still have you put samples on and other types of things depending on how busy the lab is, but for the most part, you're not doing very detailed work as a technician versus a scientist. Scientists are the ones who do the main work and are really involved in those patient findings in the uh, scope, doing lab testing that's a little bit more involved, maybe, you know, looking at plates, if you're in micro, looking at plates, seeing what kind of organisms are present on the plates, you know, resulting them out to the doctors, calling criticals, stuff like that, mostly the scientists will do. And another big difference is that as a medical laboratory scientist, you do have a little bit of a higher education, meaning that you go and obtain that four-year degree in order to become certified and get your MLS degree in certification. So it takes about four years to do that. And the only reason why there's such a big difference is because you do get paid more as a medical laboratory scientist than a medical laboratory technician. So from payscale.com, again, because it's hard to find like detailed pay scales, but for the most part, I think they're really right. 
from talking with my coworkers, talking to other techs that I've worked with starting off, these pay skills are pretty correct. So I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into how much you make as a medical laboratory scientist. As a medical laboratory scientist, you make between about $21 an hour on the lower end of the scale, the lower 10% of the pay scale, and the highest can be in the 90 percentile is about $50 an hour with a median range at about $33 an hour. So that honestly does depend on the amount of experience and time you have been working in the lab. So there is a quite a big difference in the pay from if you want to compare that to medical laboratory technician. So it may in the long run end up working out better for you if you decide to take on those four years and go ahead and get your MLS certification and go back to school and get that done because in the end of the day, you'll end up making more money, but it will take a little bit more time to get there. So you have to really weigh out the pros and cons. If you're a student who you know that you might be able to qualify for financial aid and be able to have the time to go back to school, I say apply for that four year and get that done. If you don't have that opportunity, maybe the two year will work better for you. If you have other life priorities, life instances that may come in the way, maybe that two year will work out for you. It's just a matter of taking time, talk to your school counselor, find different programs out there that work with your schedule and see what works best for you. I hope this video is helpful in helping you make an informed choice between the differences between a medical laboratory technician versus a medical laboratory scientist. I am a medical laboratory scientist myself. I absolutely love what I do. Some people do, some people don't. It depends on the job, you know, everyone has their likes and dislikes, but I actually really love what I do. I love that I'm able to use science to kind of help diagnose a patient, even though I'm not making the complete diagnosis. The findings that I find in the laboratory are what help the doctor to make about 70% of the diagnosis. So I think my job is very important. I love what I do, I love being in the lab. I love being able to interact with patients when I go draw their blood on the floor. Make sure you find something that's suitable to your schedule. And I know that you guys will find something that works great for you. So thank you guys again so much for watching this video. I hope this is really helpful in explaining the differences between the two because I know I didn't know the differences between the two because I only got my four year degree in it. So I didn't really know much about it until I did more research. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell to make sure you stay updated on my new videos since I post every Tuesday and Saturday. Thank you guys again so much and have an awesome day. Oh, <laughs>